Hey Scrap Bosses, it's your girl Victoria Marie. I'm back with another process video using the Walk in the Park paper kit. It has stickers and cutouts and beautiful pattern papers that are double sided. These are photos of my little girl um, from 2017, I believe. It was she and I at the park one day when she uh, got home from school. I'm going to talk about the story behind the photos and I'm also going to talk about this layout specifically and why I created this layout. Now with this kit what I did was I went through my stash and I pulled out some elements that I haven't used lately and I'm going for coordinating colors. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be matching exactly but I want to use both that new pack that I purchased from Tuesday morning by the way that is in a haul video that here on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel and then I also want to pull in bits from my stash. I don't sit around and make long drawn out decisions when I'm doing this process. I'm usually going through my stash and picking items quickly to see if they work and if they don't work then I'll just grab something else so I don't like to prolong the process. I also like to pick out a variety of different things when I'm sort of mix and matching the old with the new. So I want textured elements like puffy shapes, wood veneer, I want die cuts, I want stickers, I want labels, I sometimes pull stamps and then of course I'm going to pull uh, letter stickers for my titles because I typically like to do that. And so all I did was I curated a little stash here of items that I will potentially use on this scrapbook page. Now I'm going to keep the design pretty basic. I'm going to show you the little sketch that I made here in just a second. Here are those other textured elements that I want to use, the wood veneer, that little uh, tag there that says play or release banner rather. There's an appersand and some buttons and I don't use all of those little elements but I do pull them out as options. I also try not to pick too many products because of course if you have too many options then that can sometimes impede upon the creative process. So I'm going to dig into this kit and the first thing I want to do is I want to look at papers. This kit does include a 12 by 12 sticker sheet which is great and then on the back of the title page it has these little cut aparts that you can journal on. The kit's very colorful and it's themed and that's something you guys don't see here on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel very often. So I'm going through all the papers trying to decide what I want to use for my background. Now as I'm going through this, just a little background about, haha, <laughs> pun on words, just a little background about this layout and why I chose to create it and kind of where I've been um, in my creative brain lately. Over the past year and a half, I have been feeling like I've gotten away from um, my scrapbooking style, my organic scrapbooking style. And I posed this question or this topic on the Victoria Marie Facebook group about a week ago. Um, and basically it was with all the new styles and techniques of scrapbooking and such that are coming out on the market, the different products and that type of thing, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, and sometimes it really makes us question our own scrapbooking style when we when we see people working on design teams and they create one way, but maybe um, the everyday scrapper creates another way. And so I really started thinking about this as I was accepting design team positions and really seeing how my scrapbooking style was changing and I wasn't feeling great about it because it wasn't really true to how I feel that I scrapbook in real life. So all the pages that I make that are, I don't film for the YouTube channel or I don't show sometimes don't always look like the layouts that I create for design teams. And so I was starting to feel as though I was getting away from the joy of scrapbooking and it became um, very robotic if that means, if that makes any sense. So I grabbed this kit with the intention of creating a layout that I felt was really representative of my scrapbook style, which is really eclectic, by the way. Sometimes I like simple, sometimes I like traditional. Every now and then I put a little bit of mixed media on there. But I love themed scrapbooking and I love using lots of color and I love using muted colors and lots of photos on my layout. So I decided to create a layout that has four photos on it and using all those other elements that I feel that are really fun on a scrapbook page. So this is a themey scrapbook page using some really cute elements. So I have my background all set up with that pattern paper, the dot pattern paper, and then the plaid, which I think is really great. Cut the, the plaid one in about five inches. Now I wanna put a border there as an anchor to sort of cover up the joint between those two pattern papers. But I discovered that the sticker orange scallop that came with the sticker sheet um, was too small. So I looked in the pattern papers, I found this sheet that has another orange scallop. I attempt to cut it out, but the problem is, is I don't have it flush at the top of that cutter, so it cuts, it doesn't cut straight. So then I try to cut it again, only to have my blade stick halfway through and it rips the paper. <laughs> so at this point I get so 
frustrated with it and I throw it down and then I'm looking for something else. There goes my mad hand. So I'm looking for something else. We have all been there. So I grab another piece of pattern paper from the kit, which happens to be orange because that's what I wanted. And I was going to make this work. I grab my Fisker's punch. Now here's another thing. Not only am I using my stash, but I also want to use my tools more. And I found over the past year and a half, I haven't been using my tools as often. And so that's another thing that I want to get back to. Now, all of these things, like this topic that I'm talking about here, I'm going to talk about more in depth in an upcoming scrappy chat. So I'm going to tell you why I resigned from the design teams. I'm going to tell you why I've been struggling creatively. And I'm telling you all of this, hopefully to inspire you guys <laughs> to get out your scrapbook stuff and start getting back to the reason why you want to scrapbook, especially if you've abandoned this craft for a while, you haven't scrapbooked in a while. I think we all sort of go through those creative struggles and I certainly have. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in detail in a scrappy chat that's going to come up here in a few days. And then, of course, I'm throughout the uh, 2019, I'm going to talk a whole lot about that. So um, in my scrappy chat for December, I'm going to talk to you about um, what my creative focus is for 2019 and what my year challenge or year long challenge to all of you will be. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that information to come. All right. So I'm mounting um, my photo on a piece of foam, fun foam, and then I'm going to back that fun foam with some uh, score tape. And that's a photo of me and my little one. Now these photos were taken in 2017 and we went to the park after I picked her up from school and it was a beautiful fall day. And I love taking my daughter to the park and over the years watching her grow, I remember when she was little and was just sort of, um, trying to play on the play equipment, but she was so tiny. So we would have to watch her and make sure she wouldn't fall off. And now she's bigger and she can do everything at the playground. And it's just so fun watching her grow. And so I'm sort of being reflective about that a little bit and, and kind of telling the story of sort of this change and the things that she can do now as compared to when she was little. So I reached for the sticker sheet and I decided instead of using traditional font stickers like I normally do for a title, what I want to do is I'm going to use that little sticker that says a walk in the park, which is, you know, titled is the title of this paper kit. I pop that up on foam squares and I mount that on top of that cute um, little kite. Then I grab the little banner sticker there, place that under the photo. I recognize there's some trap space between the photo and the banner, but I'm okay with that. Normally I'm not, but I'm okay. I'm not trying to be that ticky. Then there are some photo corners included with this uh, sticker set. So I decided to put that on. It has a nice little plaid design. I thought that would be great to emphasize that photo of my daughter and I. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the other three photos and the other three photos are my daughter playing on different pieces of equipment on the uh, playground. It was just such a really beautiful day and the pictures came out fantastic. I mounted all the photos against white cardstock. The first one at the top I mounted also with some blue pattern paper because that's the photo I want to emphasize on the layout. Now the bottom photos I did print four by six, but all I did was I trimmed them down so that they could be four by four. I wanted to sort of take away some of the white space in the photo and really focus on my daughter who's the subject of the photos. I'm going to position those sort of in a wonky uh, design, sort of slanted a little bit with that middle one, adjust it slightly up um, above the, uh, the uh, other two photos. Lost my train of thought there. So I grabbed this little tree from the sticker sheet, which is really cute. And I'm going to pop that up on, what's a fruit? What did I say fruit? I mean, cute. <laughs> it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm narrating this. Okay. So I'm going to pop up that tree with some foam stickers to kind of give that some prominence there. I thought about using that little birdie, but it's a little bit too big for the scale of the layout. So I grabbed this butterfly and I'm going to shop this butterfly around the page a little bit. And it's ultimately not going to work. I'm going to try it one other time, but it's not going to work. Then there are these cute little flowers that I thought I would use. So I'm going to pop that one up on some foam as well and position that to the right hand side of that photo. Then I'm going to take a smaller little sticker. I'm going to layer that in um, the little flower there. I'm going to end up adding some foam to that, I believe and call that little cluster good. I'm looking at some of these puffy stickers from pink fresh studio. Again, something that I've had in my stash for, a couple of months or so and that label says this makes me smile. I put it down there by the photo of my daughter but I'm ultimately going to move it up to the top. So now I'm going to grab some of these uh, Dear Lizzie rubber charms and I'm having a hard time getting them out the package. There we go. thought I was going to use that ampersand. It is actually black and I felt that it didn't really go all that well with the layout and I want something a little bit more comfortable or colorful <laughs> at the top. Not comfortable. Colorful at the top. 
Then I also have this banner that says hello, hello, that I positioned at that uh, right hand photo at the bottom and then a little camera. I'm going to add some um, adhesive strips to the back of these rubber charms. Here's a little tip. I found that not all adhesive plays well with rubber charms. So I usually will use red line tape or score tape or I will staple them onto my layout. That way I know that they stay on. Um, I've used other types of adhesive, sometimes liquid adhesive, because the rubber charms are not absorbent. Um, the liquid adhesive doesn't dry very well. And so I try to use something that's a bit more tacky that will cling onto that material so that it stays on my layout. I have many rubber charms that have fallen to the bottom <laughs> of my layouts and they're page protectors. I have learned my lesson. Turning to some Freckle Fawn little epoxy stickers. These are really fun. I miss Freckle Fawn kits. I know they started up a different kit um, selection if you're familiar with Freckle Fawn, but I used to get their embellishment kit and I absolutely love it. So I grabbed this little epoxy sticker. It has blue and orange and um, blue, orange, and green stripes. So I go ahead and position them on top of the flower. I also grabbed these labels and I want to say that was, oh goodness, I, remember, I can't remember who manufactured that. Um, and I put on this little phrase sticker that I'm ultimately going to take off. And I think it says happiness together or something like that. I'm ultimately going to take that off. I reach for the sticker set again. I'm grabbing some floral stickers, these cute little floral stickers. I'm going to put the blue one to the bottom corner, right hand corner of that photo of my daughter and I. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little pop dot to that so it stands up since that photo has some foam behind it. And again, one of those little epoxy stickers from... Uh, freckle fawn and let's see what else am i doing oh yes so here comes that butterfly again and it's not going to work it's too big and i don't really like the color so i go ahead and let that go i'm looking in my little tin which i got from dollar tree by the way and or dollar general rather and i am trying to audition some of these wood veneer pieces and they don't seemingly work so I'm going to go to my puffy stickers from Pink Fresh Studio. I grabbed a pink puffy sticker. I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive to that. Put that on the backhand side and pop that there by that little arrow. So I'm going to go back to those freckle fawn pieces and decide, you know what, I'm going to put one right there by my tree. Now I have some Ellie Studios everyday labels. I've hoarded these for a few months now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add this label that says my favorite. Thought I was going to put it there to the left hand side. Ultimately, I'm going to put it in the middle photo at the bottom because that is one of my favorite photos of my little one. As I'm looking at these photos, I'm realizing how much she has changed over the years. And this is one of the reasons why I love scrapbooking about my kid and scrapbooking everyday moments. And I feel that's where I really see sort of a transition. I have pictures of her playing at the park from years ago, and now I can look at pictures of her playing at the park now and just noticing all the differences. And of course, she's just, you know, she's a beautiful child. So. I really enjoy being her mommy. I grabbed this label from the sticker sheet, which is just a heart. I'm going to cover up the spot where you could potentially write something. I just want that yellow to show through as an anchor for that my favorite. And that gives just a little bit more detail there. That's something very simple that you can do on a layout um, when you're hesitant or not quite sure how to add a little bit more detail. Um, adding something like that little label sticker behind another sticker just to have a pop of color or dimension is a really great way to add a bit more interest. Back to those freckle fawn epoxy stickers. I'm going to add one to that flower. Notice I made another flower cluster because I want to even out um, both sides of the photos. So now I want to trim up my journaling. I simply just typed up my journaling, printed it on white cardstock. And the journaling reads, today after school, we went to a local park to relax and decompress. I love watching you play. You have grown up so fast and your playground skills are pretty awesome. There are things, so many things, oh, there are so many things you can do now as compared to a few years ago when you were smaller. I just watch you play occasionally tagging along, enjoying every minute of you, which is so true. And it's hard to believe that she's just getting bigger and growing every day. So here is the finished layout. Have beautiful color, lots of clusters, lots of patterns. This was a really fun kit to work with. I felt that this layout really brought me back to the reason why I like to scrapbook. Lots of photos, great journaling, and overall really great design. To see more of this layout, make sure you head on over to the Victoria Marie blog. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel 
when you do click that bell indicator that way you'll know every single time i post a new layout here on the victoria marie youtube channel if you want to find me on facebook and instagram the links are posted down below and by the way big shout out to all of the victoria marie scrap boss patrons these fantastic individuals support me through Patreon. They have a small amount every month in order to access exclusive content. If that's something you're interested in, the link is posted down below. Now you go and be creative.